Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about all of those alerts. Uh, one of the biggest things that you'll notice when you first onboard with SAS alerts is just the sheer number of alerts that you're going to get uh, throughout the day, especially if you've uh, accidentally enabled PSA integration right out of the box. Uh, your help desk probably blew up and your all of your technicians were probably very upset with you. That's why we typically advise you not to enable PSA integration, especially at the beginning. The process that I'm going to take you to right now will help you get a hold of the alerts and, and trim them down before starting to ingest them into your PSA and, and letting your help desk go crazy. So we're going to start with the analyze module. This is the easiest way to determine what would have created a ticket or sent you an email uh, throughout the day. So if we go to analyze, let's go to pick a date range. Typically I suggest maybe like one to two weeks, probably a pretty good range up till today. And very importantly, we're going to filter by alert statuses. Anything that's medium, anything that's critical. Those two severities are gonna generate a ticket, gonna send you an email. Let's look for everybody, every account, all, all users. We're gonna run this report. After this is run, we can see that in the last two weeks, if we did have PSA integration enabled, we would have gotten uh, approximately around 600 some tickets. And some of these may have been more, but majority would probably have been tickets. So let's look down and see what we can, uh, what we can determine is something that we would actually want to be alerted on. So I have a couple of these alert severity changed. Uh, typically we leave these at, at medium because we want to know if somebody is adjusting the alert severity, especially if they're dropping something to low that we would want to know about typically. Well, let's look at these. I got user logged in. It's a medium. I don't think that I want to be alerted every single time someone logs into our system. Maybe you do. And that's what makes our system so great is it's completely customizable. And what's important to you may not be important to me. And what's important to me may not be important to you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at this. We're going to say, okay, well, I don't want to know if it's when someone logs in. So the easiest way to do this is to right click on your tab and let's hit duplicate tab. Once we're in our new tab, let's go ahead and navigate to the bottom of this menu. And I'm going to move myself out of the way a little bit. And we're going to see the very bottom where it says customize alerts. And just keep in mind, you know, what we're seeing, we can flip flop back and forth between these two tabs and really uh, use our system to uh, tell it what we're interested in seeing. Uh, right, so go ahead and customize alerts. And once we're in here, let's go ahead and let's find the user logged in. We can see our, our second one here. Uh, someone has specified this to be a custom severity of a medium. That means it's going to generate a ticket or an email. Uh, by default, we say this should be a low. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to reset this back to the default. Another one that we get pretty frequently is the account locks. And I did cover this in a different video, but say you're seeing a lot of those and you don't want to see those every single time. We can see our default is a medium, which means you will see that every time, but we can adjust this to low. And there, we don't have to worry about it showing up and creating a ticket or generating noise in our PSA. So the process is pretty much a rinse and repeat. You know, you're going to see what, what's coming into my, my PSA, what's making a lot of noise and what don't I care about? And you'll adjust it here in our list of alerts. You can use the search up here to find the different alerts that you're looking for. What I also found is extremely helpful is to click on export alerts that will generate a CSV file. You can open it up in Excel and you can see all of the diff different alerts and all the products they apply to, because not every system you may be running, you might not have Ninja one. So why would you go and adjust all the alert severities for a product you're not running? However, you may be running office. And this alert right here, the APP, uh, the app connection failed, API connection, you may want to know if that happens. 
So that's pretty much our method to calming down our system. It's really tweaking it to suit your needs. And you're not limited just to getting alerts from our global system. You can also use Respond to, to fine tune those. Let's take a look and see how we would fine tune a rule that we care about, but only if it meets other criteria. Here we are in our respond module, and this is a great place for us to take all those global alerts and use them as variables to create an alert that we care about, but only if it meets certain criteria. Let's go ahead and add a new rule. And we'll call this um, outside approved location forwarding rule. You can be more creative than I am. That's OK. So we're going to take a look at this rule right here, and we're going to make some changes. We're going to have it create an alert for us uh, for different log events that we don't really care about by themselves, but when combined with other ones, we may want to direct some attention towards it. So let's look for an outside approved location authentication successful right here. I'm only going to look for one occurrence. Now, I may not want to be alerted every single time this pops up, and this is just an example, but I do want to be alerted if this triggers and then another another action triggers right after it. Maybe I want to know if someone signs in from outside approved location and the next thing they do is they create a, a mail forwarding rule within a mail forwarding event uh, within, let's say, the first one hour. The only way that this rule is going to trigger is if these two criteria are met within this time frame. We can add other things too. Maybe I want to know if an email rule is enabled, if an email rule is changed, or if an email rule is deleted. So any of these alerts that happen within the first hour of this event occurring is going to fire this rule off. And our respond module is great. It can do exactly what it says. It can respond. It can, it can, it can block sign in. It can expire account sessions, but it can also do nothing. And do nothing is really where it will alert you guys that something has happened, it's met these two criteria, and you should investigate. We go to our alert configuration, and we can see that this alert is a critical. We could make it a medium or low, but if we make it a low, it's not going to show up in our PSA. If it's a medium or a critical, it will. So you can use your imagination and pull from any number of these different events and combine them with other ones. It really allows you to fine tune and remove the false positives and, and get a system that will alert you on the things that you care about. I hope this has been helpful. If you need additional guidance on different rules to create or different ways to fine tune your system, please let us know. We're happy to jump on a call with you and, and do almost a re-onboarding, a reintroduction to our system, or just help you do a, a log review and find out you know, what's driving you crazy and how we can tweak it so that our system is beneficial to you and not overly loud and causing you to do a whole bunch of work that, that you don't have time for. I hope to talk to you soon. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions.